Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Bing, I'm a photo and video maker and welcome back to the studio. This is the third product I bought from DJI this month. And all of a sudden I became a DJI fanboy. This is kind of scary and I'm broke. But anyways, no more bullshit, let's get straight to the unboxing. This is the second day morning. I'm in the little piece of land that belonged to my mother-in-law. We did some gardening early this year here. Here will be the takeoff spot for the drone. Okay, I'm back. I have to say I'm horrified. It's so scary to fly a drone. I have crashed the drone badly four years ago, so I can never get rid of this feeling about drones. I didn't want to buy a drone. It's expensive, scary to fly, and you have to deal with a lot of legal stuff. You have to be careful about no-fly zone, military area, something like this. But nowadays, the drone shot has become some kind of arms race on YouTube. So you can't really keep yourself out of this, can you? I believe with more training, I'll be more confident with drones. Even though it was scary, but this drone is absolutely safe to fly. It has auto takeoff, auto landing, return to home function. So you don't have to worry too much. It was just my mental problem. It is very steady when hovering in the air and it's very smooth when turning. It has three fly modes, normal, cine, and sport. The normal mode is already very smooth. When you're in the cine mode, the drone flies and turns even more slowly so that you can get your smooth cinematic video easier. As for the sport mode, I'm sorry, I didn't even try it. About the image quality, I will make another video because hell, we got all day long fox and ring here. It's unbelievable. Compared to the first generation, it has many new features. The first one I want to mention about is the new controller. 
It is so well designed, so beautiful. I 100% have a crush on it. The other new features, 4K for quick shot, better wind resistant, lower propeller noise. AugiSync 2.0, very important, which can give you a longer, more stable video transmission. The downsides of this little drone, it doesn't have the active track, so it can't follow you and do the nice tracking shot. It has no obstacle avoidance sensors, so you have to be careful when flying it. And the last but not least, it has no flat color profile. This is disappointing for me because the Disney-like color profile works great on DJI's devices and I'm absolutely happy with it on my Pocket 2 and Osmo Action. This helps me to squeeze the best image quality out of them. So, no Disney-like, no good. Should you upgrade when you have a Mini 1? No, because they have the same sensor size, the image looks the same from them. It's not a big improvement from 2.8K to 4K, so keep your mini one and enjoy it. But if you don't have a drone yet, buy the new one. This is a great choice for beginners, very powerful. I literally bought this drone just because of the new controller. For me, it's like buy a controller and get the drone for free. Yes, I love aesthetic product which has a sense of design it's so beautiful it's just a piece of art look at it i mean you too okay ladies and gentlemen that's the video for today thanks for watching if you think it's been useful please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't yet more content is coming i'll see you in the next one bye